Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our product title is Design of Approximate Radix 4 Booth Multipliers for Error Tolerance Computing Now we are going to discuss about our product abstract The Approximate Booth Multipliers are designed based on the Xilinx uh, VHTL language uh, The Approximate Radix 4 is a booth encoding the current design of the multiplier can be the truncation model of the simple approximation model this low part of the partial product the least significant partial product they estimate by the constant value for the multipliers input here more efficient the approximate radix for multipliers encoder so present on the some extensively analyzed part of the so approximator and both multipliers here we are going to the propose the, the regulation of the approximate multipliers so in the factor of force assistance for the design in the both multipliers can be extensively evaluated for the error analysis and the proposed the multipliers for the uh, can be applied for the application in the image processing here the consist of the three part of the uh, both multipliers the partial product generations using the both encoders and partial product accumulator using the compression values and the the final product generation for the based on the and the final product generation using the first adder here the most important for the approximate radix for, for uh, both encoding process to, uh, to complement of the pro multiplications and design based for the encoding the process here the approximate partial product arrays we generate for the some uh, both encoding and then uh, product addition for the each and every input for the regulation approximate arrays here the improving the performance and uh, implementation for the tools complement binary numbers they improve the some uh, modify both encoding algorithm here the encoding plays important for the multiplying the reduce the number of the partial product row of the power of the constant of the value efficiency the approximate four and encoding level is uh, carefully considered for the some sequence of the input bits finally after we design the product array and the error comp approximate in the adder so some distance based uh, the we are normalized for the both multipliers now we are going to discuss about our product flow diagram in our process we are giving the input data bits for the 12 bit input data and then we are going to the encoding the process we are determined the three part of the uh, both multipliers first uh, partially product generations it's mean the encoding the process the partial product encoding the having the radix for both multipliers here we have implement for that two complement of the multiplication we have using the interface for the half adder and full adder, full adder process having the k map value based uh, 2 bit and 4 bit level of the multiplication and then we have uh, encoding the process has two uh, level of the partial product accumulator and final product generations here the main part of the, the both multipliers consider that uh, product generations yeah mm, using the both encoding the process we have determined the d registers architectures here we implement that uh, two by uh, two by two we have column based we have stage one and two based we have step up the uh, register based we have going to the multiplications after we go into the array formation of the law uh, ram positions here we implemented the where we go into the store the data in which we getting from the read and write operations for the partial product array formation and lastly we go into the error corrections operation block here we have uh, wherever we want to uh, uh, multiplications in occur the error we are just going to that array encoding the process going to the some distance based on calculate the distance we are getting the uh, finding the uh, occur the error for process the so finally we go into the uh, uh, analysis synthesis report for the multiplications for the 8 uh, 8 bit and 12 bit bo radix both multiplications and the power area and uh, uh, schematic diagram 
and LUTs levels and the speed levels, frequency levels. So we are going to the implementation and we get analysis the, the best result and improve the based on the some uh, access systems process. Now we are going to discuss about our product running processor. In our process, the eight Radix four uh, both multiplier have using the uh, VST language in Silence fourteen point two version software tool. Now we have implementation and the coding completed. After we go into the simulation part and uh, implementation result. So uh, simulation process we are going to the some uh, graphically we are generated the binary waves based we are getting the output and implementation result we are getting the schematic diagram and uh, design summary based we are getting the some uh, improvement of the results so we are compared to the implementation result in the X system based we have uh, manipulation calculated uh, for, uh, first we are going to the simulation process so the, this is uh, the uh, main coding after we are going to that the first uh, simulate behavioral model so uh, we getting the iSIM simulator for the graphically waveform generated. Uh, this is the I simulator based we have given some binary inputs. So this is the A and B the input values data bits. So uh, right click and we give the some force constant value. So binary value. So give the some 8 bit value. The same model for the B the force constant value. Just to give the some clack value for the force clack, so leading edge value is zero, and uh, trial edging value is one, and period is thousand nanosecond. So and reset value for the we give the value for the one. So everyone is completed. Give the input and output is the p. Twenty five bit we get the output values for the multiplication output. So this is a simulation output for the Radix 4 both multipliers. Now we are going to for the uh, implementation result. Here in the implementation, now we completed the simulation and now we are going to the implementation result. Oh, this is a uh, main code and uh, we are going to the synthesis XST process going to the run after getting the sim RTL schematic diagram. So now we are going to the with the RTL schematic diagram. So multipliers and the multipliers and create the schematic diagram. So this is our art schematic diagram based. So here we have implementation for so after we go into the forms uh, design summary result for that so overall RTL schematic diagram for the chip based we are using implementation now we go into the implementation result here the, we go into the implementation and right run the process we getting the uh, number of areas and uh, registers we are using the process design summary is going to the so number of LUTs so synthesis report and uh, device utilization process so this is our main uh, process for the LUTs and uh, lookup tables so it is, uh, this is the main our device utilization summary based on the area and speed and process and this is the delay functions for the, for the process so offset the delay for so 4.41510 nanoseconds so basically we are getting the delay timing process so thank you for watching our video